Danielle, and I am a big buddy with Achieve Miami. Today, I will be reading Curious George Makes Pancakes by Margaret and H.A. Ray. This book has an AR reading level of 3.3. I love this book because I love Curious George and all of his crazy adventures. I hope you'll like it too. Alright, now let's get started. Curious George Makes Pancakes This is George. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. One morning, the man with the yellow hat woke George early. Time to get up, George, he said. The pancake breakfast is today. George loved the pancake breakfast. It was a fundraiser held every year to make money for special programs at the children's hospital. Besides eating pancakes, there were all kinds of games to play. Even the mayor came to play and eat, but first he gave a welcome speech. Thank you all for coming, the mayor said. We appreciate your generous support. He thanked all of the volunteers who were helping that day, and finally he said, please enjoy yourselves and the pancakes. So you see the mayor talking to everyone with the pancakes. When the mayor finished, the man with the yellow hat said, George, I'm going to buy our tickets. Please wait here and don't be curious. George waited like a good little monkey, but mmm, something smelled good. Could it be the pancakes? George was curious. George smelling the pancakes. He followed the delicious smell and found a whole griddle full of pancakes. George watched as the man poured little batter circles and flipped them up in the air. See, he's flipping them. It looked like fun to make pancakes. George wanted to help. On the table near the, near the griddle was a basket full of blueberries. These pancakes need blueberries, George thought, and he sprinkled some on top. Meanwhile, the man at the griddle was so busy he didn't notice the little monkey helping him, but the line grew and grew. George's pancakes were a hit. Soon everyone wanted them and the man could not keep up. Please wait, he said to someone holding an empty plate. I need to find an assistant to help me. And just like that, he was gone. George looked at the people waiting in line and then at the empty griddle. Why he, why he could make pancakes. He could be the assistant. George poured the batter into the nice round circles. Next, he added the blueberries. He waited just a minute 